Don't believe me. I, and I'm serious. D don't believe me. Cause I'm evil. No, I'm not evil, but it's because I'm just a man, just like everyone else. I say one thing and then I do the other. I barely ever serve people that aren't like me and I know I should be. I sin every day, just like you. I make mistakes, so, so don't just trust me. Look up the stuff that I have to say and see for yourself. You see, I don't mean to mislead you, but I, I, I'm just a normal man and I just get, I get distracted. Like, is there, is there a puppy on the other side of the door? Nope, I'm just distractible. But of course, I'm not just here to lead you astray. I really believe in the stuff that Jesus has to say and the stuff that's in the Bible, but I'm just like everyone else. I can be easily led astray. I mean, I don't do a very good job protecting myself. I don't know everything from the Bible. So you gotta look it up yourself. You gotta be able to know that the stuff that I say actually matches up with what God's Bible says. In Matthew chapter 15, Jesus is once again feeding thousands of people. This is twice in like a week maybe that he's fed 10 to 15,000 people. Two times! And Jesus warns the disciples to watch out for the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And some of you might be thinking, but what does that mean? So we shouldn't eat the bread that they have? And that is literally what the disciples thought. But of course, he wasn't talking about that. And Jesus was all just like, Ugh! Because of course it was Peter again that was like, so I shouldn't eat their bread? And Jesus said, no, what I'm talking about is you should be careful of their teachings. And you can tell that by the things that come out of what they're teaching. They're teaching these things that I'm not teaching you. They're teaching things that God has not taught you to teach. They are things made up by man to give glory to other men. So don't believe me, don't trust me. You gotta know for yourself. And the best way to do that is to say, okay, if someone's teaching me something, number one, do they know what they're talking about? A lot of times people just like to talk and they don't know what they're doing. Number two, does it match up with the character and the qualities that you know that Jesus and God have? There's all throughout the Bible. And if someone's teaching you something that doesn't match up with what Jesus and God has to say, the likelihood is you should not trust them. And the third way, of course, is to look in the Bible and read it yourself. When I give you guys a verse to look up, that doesn't mean just whatever. I want you to know where I'm getting it from so you can look it up. And if someone doesn't give you that stuff, a lot of times, they might not even know what they're talking about or they might take something out of context. So the great thing about this is that you can go look at the Bible and see what it has to say. So don't just trust someone. If, if, if you wanna know some more ways that you can know whether to trust someone or not, I wanna share that with you on Wednesday. So come back on Wednesday and I will give you some more tips about how to know if you can trust what someone is saying. Hey, thanks for checking out Bible Made Elementary today. You can click right there to subscribe to all the other videos that we have coming up. Uh, we send them out on every Sunday and on Wednesday and you can click right there to find other videos with all sorts of topics that can help you out. Thanks for checking out Bible Main Elementary today. I will see you on Wednesday. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! Ah!